Okay. All right, guys. Let's have a look at the Bulwark matchup now. Now, in this series that I'm doing where I'm looking at Falk's changes and the bad matchups, you guys might have realized that I keep talking about the EX shot specifically. That's just because that's the only thing she got that is uh, relatively new. The other changes are quality of life changes. The EX shot is a completely new special move she has. So that's what we're focusing on when we're talking about these matchups here. But okay, Bulrock now. What was the main issue against Bulrock? We couldn't throw projectiles. The main issue against Bulrock, we couldn't really throw projectiles. And we have to throw projectiles to create a mind game when we jump or air shot or regular jump. Because we couldn't use forward heavy punch because forward heavy punch would get punished every time. So if I set Falk to doing this, this is what we have to do with every time. I can't play charge characters. I can't play charge characters. There. Every, every time, pretty much. It, it doesn't matter what range, it'll just punish all the time. Every time. Right? That's what we have to do with every time. So that straight was already super annoying for for us. Now, what's changed? What has EX Shot done in this matchup in particular? First of all, we're not going to talk about the EX Shot. We're going to talk about what happened to Bulwark. His tap, turnaround punch. How do you do it? Hold down the button. How do you do this? There we go. So that has lost a lot of um, invincibility frames on the, on the, on the start. So, in other words, it doesn't go through projectiles as well as it used to, right? Which makes our life easier when we do this. Because now, oh, I turned on the wrong thing. There we go. Makes our life easier because now, this is what they always used to do. They will find it harder to do now. This is what would happen a lot of the time. That. That. They will get stuffed. Before, they didn't have to think. It was so easy. Now, this will get stuffed a lot of the time. So already, this is huge. Already. Because Airshot is an actual threat. They're like, okay, I can't just tap. Now, you would say to yourself, okay, but why wouldn't they just use V-Skill 1? So let's use V-Skill 1. Right? Why wouldn't they just do this, right? Well, that's where EX Shot comes in. EX Shot now allows you to do this. You sure that follow them? EX Shot now allows you to do this. Second. Trying to get the range where you would do it. Trying to get the range where you would do it there. Why the hell is that going through? So what would happen is Bulrock can actually get hit out, out the air. I'll do it till I keep getting it here. There. I was reacting too quickly because I'm doing it preemptively because I already know Fox going to do it. If I tried to do it as a reaction, there. So this situation would happen a lot because of EX Shot. There. Right? If you guys want to see how that is in a real match, just test it out. Play a ranked game, play a casual game, battle lounge game, and actually test it out against a Bura player you play. And see how effective this is. Now, the reason I like this is because the game plan that I would implement against Bulrog, I don't have to change it. It's just a better game plan in general now. It buffs the way I was playing against Bulrog in the first place. Mixing up my air approach, because we lose the ground game severely. So, buffing up my air approach is amazing. Now, it, it just makes jumping, like regular jumping into a button, air shot, empty jump, and now that Bulrog is forced to be focused on the air approach, it makes your ground game easier too. Then you can sneak up the mark, the little walk forwards, walk up crouch medium punch, because now he has to be focused on the air game. So that leaves you room to breathe. 
So that is my take on what EX Shot does in this matchup. Now, I want to show off one more thing that is huge with EX Shot. Uh, it's quite situational, but if you happen to be in a corner, which is something Bulrock can definitely do, you know. If you happen to find yourself here, right, and you have, you are the fart player, right? There. Right? In this situation here, and the Borok player is pretty much just pressuring you with normals. Now you have this. Look at where I am on the screen. This gives you, this is a defensive tool. This gives you room to breathe against these type of characters. This would also uh, apply like against Bison, since Bison's pressure is so strong. If you land a single jab or a single hit in general, you can now free yourself from those situations. You can now free yourself from those situations, which is huge for Falk. Because she needs that room to breathe. She needs that room to breathe. She needs that. So that is my take on what EX Shot does for Falk in this matchup. I think it's very helpful and I love it. I love it.